This is Mike, nostressmike.com. And I am in the hills or mountains of Arkansas. Oh, um, boy, I don't know if this is going to show up good or not. But, but anyway, see the road's a little skinny. But see, they got some, they don't look much like a mountain. But if you try walking it, I bet you you're going to think it's a mountain. And, uh, but anyway, uh, this is uh, July 3rd. Uh, 2017 and I'm on my way back to Oklahoma uh, I stop and see people as I travel I go uh, because I've been on expos and uh, so I've been to different places I meet people and um, a lot of times I will go months and years without seeing them. And then I, I pop up sometime or another. But, um, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, there, uh, this is really hill country. I mean, there's not much out here. I'm on a pretty good little highway. But anyway, what I want to talk about is the 4th of July. That's tomorrow. Independence Day. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I am not, when you look at me, you uh, see me in person and stuff like that. I don't wear a red, white, and blue flag. I don't have, I don't have all the things that you're going to see. When you think of uh, somebody being patriotic, and uh, even at this time of the year, the Fourth of July, I don't, I don't have all that stuff. Um, I enjoy Fourth of July. Now, I'll, I will tell you, when I was younger, I did all the flag waving and all this type of stuff. Uh, but the thing is. Through the years, I find it more important to be patriotic all year round. And that doesn't mean wave flagging all the time. I try to live my life like I think a true American would be. So I really, uh, the 4th of July is kind of a sum of uh, my spiritual beliefs. You know, the, the, I try to get my lifestyle uh, acting more than just talk. <laughs> so, in other words, I, I live the American style. I, I, I believe that the 4th of July is the time we need to be thankful, kind of like Christmas. We're thankful, and, you know, and, uh, but the 4th of July, it's really a time to be thankful that uh, we have the freedoms that we have. Now, uh, and really the best way to be thankful is to live it. Live the freedoms that we have. Uh, it's not a bad time to go out shooting. Uh, it's not a bad time to uh, travel and see family. Uh, I mean, like the, the shooting, the, the guns, you know, that's uh, that is definitely an American way. And my trip to China taught me that traveling is really a unique uh, American way. Yes, uh, there's 
other people in other countries they travel but you'll see they don't really travel like Americans travel and uh, so I mean we do have the freedom to travel but also we have the freedom to better ourselves we are not pigeonholed into some particular trade or uh, career and stuff like that. We can do whatever we want. And like I say, I'm not suggesting it for everybody, but I normally change my uh, my careers maybe every five years. And uh, because I get bored. Now, it might be kind of a coincidence, but then again, it's been five years since I lost my wife, and so I'm a little bit more, uh, I, I beat the bushes a little more than I used to, and, um, but, oh, uh, we have an, a, an opportunity here in the United States and the way to make this opportunity of freedom work is to take personal responsibility I just stopped at uh, some friends that are going through hard hard times uh, the husband had an accident and it's really they lost their business they've uh, they're just trying to make ends meet and it's uh, they still have one kid at home so it's, it's, it's been quite an adventure and you know we all have you know some type of crosses to bear I mean that's just the way things are but uh, we need to be realistic and not just take and that's I've seen a lot of that in the United States everybody just takes 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 they're not uh, putting back into uh, the, the American way and when I say take uh, they take advantage of the situation they take advantage of uh, programs, they take advantage of all this stuff, and so they want more from the government all the time. And Independence Day is pushing the government away from the people. It's to separate the people from the government. But we have, and now we're, we're turning into a welfare state. I mean, so many of the people uh, want and expect the government to do so much things for them. Um, I mean, like I say, nine one one. I mean, you don't even you don't even take care of a situation yourself. They've got you convinced that you're not smart enough to handle a situation. These are all the signs that's telling us we are losing our independence. We cannot even make judgments. Everybody's worried about liability. You know, well, I can't say nothing because I'll be liable. You know, you can't do anything. You know, I'll be liable. You know, I mean, it's just, I, I've, I've never seen such a fear of, uh, of not wanting to do the morally correct thing. And like I say, the, the system is teaching people not to take personal responsibility. You need to stand up. You need to make decisions. And we need to stop letting lawyers dictate how we think, how we act. You know, this has got to stop. And uh, Independence Day was a, a true has a true meaning of being independent it's not just the 
shoot the firecrackers. I'm talking about shoot the firecrackers. They don't even let you shoot firecrackers. Uh, I've been, I can't remember which communities I've been in, but I've been in some communities that you have to uh, buy a license to shoot firecrackers in their community. So, in other words, the, the, the city is profiting. They, they, they see an opportunity uh, to make money. And the reason they said, well, if we just let everybody shoot firecrackers, there'll be fire started. Well, yeah, but they do. They'll let anybody that pays, to, I think it's $20, for the permit. You know, so they're still letting anybody do it. I mean, it's not like they go through and do a check to see if this person's ever had a firecracker shoot in their hand. You know what I mean? So uh, it's really weird. But we need to get control of yours and mine independence and do it. Don't try to restrict other people. And at the same time, you need to stand strong for your independence. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.